You're back with another one. Top 10 Surpassing Limit Moments in Anime by Top 10 Anime. They actually just dropped some like an hour ago. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait like a couple days because I want them to get they, they, they stuff up first and then I'm going to react to it. But it also, it had a lot of potential. I was like, ooh, when I saw that. I went to watch it right there, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Make sure you guys like their video. Sub to their channel. Let's get right into it. That smooth jazz. Yeah. Action anime is all I don't know about smooth. That, that jazz, though, that's and mm. overcoming challenging obstacles. That's why I love watching the videos. They intro it. Although logically it may not make sense on occasions, like big. they are still epic, inspirational moments. I am not including any transformations as a limit-breaking moment because then the list will be filled with mainstream anime. Yeah. That <laughs> is very true. <laughs> like Dragon no Ball. Yeah. No power of friendship. Pure is Ultra Instinct a... Pull all of his is that a, a transformation? Do you guys consider that a transformation? Put that in Both the comments. I don't know if you guys consider Ultra Instinct as a transformation. As neither wanted to use any tricks, I do. <laughs> wish to see the other's power and bring out their greatest. Icky trades all his energy and strength into one single move to defeat the strongest noble knight there is. Also, before we get too deep into it, because I'm, I'm, I'm focused, but I had something else about Dragon Ball. If, uh, if you don't think it's a, a transformation, tell me why, because I, I'm deep into Dragon Ball. Like, I've been watching it for ever. Everyone has. So, you know, I, I want to I wanna know your reasoning, why you think it's not a transformation. Whereas... She could have easily won this battle as she only had to dodge his strike once, but instead, she wanted to defeat him at his very best. A clash that only lasts a few seconds, but had a greater impact than many action anime. Man, I bleeding again. Damn, this is the moment when Bell finally confronts his fears and overcomes his weakness. Despite having cheat stats, God's knife, magic learnt for free, and a civilized minotaur waiting for their conversations to end, he doesn't create the impression of overwhelming power, but someone who truly attempts to break their limit. This fight in particular was impressive, as it clearly portrays the pain and brutality endured by the main character while showing every move performed by him. No new sudden or hidden techniques were unlocked, only the character fighting with everything he had, chipping away at the enemy. The onlookers didn't believe he had a chance until the very last second. <laughs> I'm like, where's the, where's the uh, hope, support, the belief? You just don't think I'm gonna do it? Like you better turn that, uh, turn the, uh, his ass around. And be like, y'all motherfuckers thought, so you know, <laughs> y'all thought I wasn't gonna do it. Kenshin's determination to not kill oh, makes Shishio? his life okay. quite difficult, and yet he still manages to win often, purely thanks to his willpower and constantly pushing past his boundaries. I always this see the dude. I always see Shishio in Jump Force and this. never even look at his name. I don't pick him because I'm like, who is this times, mummy? Blown up, knocked unconscious. And that is only halfway into the fight. But it was still not enough. He breaks through his limit by standing back up, unconscious, to continue the fight. Alright, bro. He, he, he pulled that Rock Lee. Except he came back. It was like, I'm not dying. What do you think this is? Well, I guess Rock Lee pulled a him. Because that, that looks older than Naruto. I'm not sure. But. I Am Blooded Orphans is unlike any other Gundam series. Outnumbered by an enormous army against just two boys, bombarded Either by way, he did it lances better. meant to kill starships, swarmed by almost everything the opposing army has, and yet still make an absolute bloodbath out of it. A last stand fitting for a pair of demons. Especially Mika pushing himself to the utmost limits to destroy almost all of the opposing army with just one arm and a half-broken machine. Problem Slayer. This is on my watch later in like, or not watch later, it's on my queue in uh, Funimation, in but I just, very intense, I think I watched one episode. And, stressful scenes, and this is one of them. 
The Slayer has been smashed into a brick wall, bloodied, one arm broken, and near death. Mm. His friends are overwhelmed by goblins. I know this show was like red, this. I thought this was a kiddie show. To be eaten. But like, I thought it was one of those play it safe, Slayer no blood type stuff. Limit using pure hatred. He is filled with rage, his eye glowing red, and with absolute fury, he proceeds to come back and utterly brutalize the goblin champion. With one arm? Broken? Sort of online? Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't exactly the scariest of characters, someone you would call cute and innocent. But oh, they trying to do... Oh, no, you're going to have to... Yeah, you're going to have to put some action into it. Stop watching. Limit placed in this virtual world. A great deal of willpower was necessary to overcome the restriction, and more importantly, breaking past this limit also signifies that he is a true AI. However, overcoming this restriction was just the beginning. The subsequent excruciating pain from an exploding eye would cause any normal person to lose conscious. And yet, he soldiered through the pain to stop the villainous act before his remaining eye. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't even know if... I don't even know if he, that's a limit break, because I don't even think Mob hit his limit yet. Anything result, in the show, I don't think he hit that limit. The percent state doesn't give a limit-breaking impression. However, in this particular fight, even though he doesn't go past the 100% state, the final scene was definitely a moment where he pushed through his limits. When knocked unconscious by the curse spray, Mob still manages to stand back up, unconscious. This wasn't thanks to his psychic powers, but sheer will to save him. Made the brother. man flee for his and life. He was like, oh, bro, let's get out. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I can't fight this dude no more. The enemy was lucky that Mob only used 100% of his power. Oh, man, there, there is right there. This I guess they count standing up as uh, as unconscious of many Naruto lists. as limit break. I, I didn't a think limit break. I thought it would be as long as most Naruto fights, and more yet like a greater willpower. Than most fights offered by this show. The Some Green Lantern type stuff. The character feared by many, and yet Lee was able to perform tremendously well, even though he has no apparent special ability. Ooh, or imagine! Talent. Imagine an anime character with the green, uh, the green lantern ring, bro. They would have the most willpower. Oh my goodness, that's unbeatable. They'd be able to do whatever. Imagine Madara with the nature and attitude towards nah, hard work. Nah, nah, I, I don't even want to do it. That's gonna hurt. At that He's unbeatable. Time. A battle. That Obito, have he willed him. If it wasn't for the he willed himself to live so much bullshit, bro. Obito had the most will in the show until Naruto, you know, did, you know, talk to him a little bit. And then he was like, well, fuck, no, nah, I don't even know if I want to do this no more, bro. Opponent's <laughs> plot armor. But nevertheless, That's it off topic rise to an inspirational scene. Moments after Guy intervenes to stop a lethal attack, Lee's body stands back up, unconscious, but his soul is still ready to continue the fight. Bro, that, that's a tearjerker right there. This show is all about going plus ultra, but one particular moment that stands out the most... Okay, is this is a limit break, because he did go over 100%. He was far stronger at that moment in time, and normally would have won, but little did he know he was fighting against the main character. I remember when I was hyped about my but hero. That was, that was a good time. Is when he is being it's all gone now. This behemoth. He transitions just don't from being care a anymore. hero to just another teenager crying for his mother. I wouldn't say they fumbled However, my hero, but I'd say like just the time period, like I just didn't care anymore. The life at risk wasn't just his, but another child. This is the moment where he pushes well past his limit, constantly flowing 100% of one for all power into his arm, risking permanent damage to his right arm. He stood his ground and bought enough time to save a single kid's future at the cost of potentially losing his future as a hero. True hero. No, you know who was a true hero? Lamillion. Because you know what he actually did? He did exactly what you just said. 
That's my hero. That's my real hero. That's the main character that showed to me. This anime Shoot. is renowned for over-the-top action and willpower-driven strength. The battle scale as far as using entire galaxies as frisbees. But the best representation this of pushing just past willpower because happened very early on in the show. Do they have limits in this show? Unlike I didn't even know if there's like a power scale. List, this guy revives himself just long enough to avenge his own death by pulling the very first Giga Drill Breaker. This show was not what I thought it would be when I first started watching it. Move to show his limit breaking abilities. I cannot think of a better limit breaker than reviving oneself to take out an enemy before passing away again. He may again. have died, but his spirit lives on in every Man episode, died twice. That is what keeps the team fighting. Now, it would be fantastic if you could break the limit of 10,000 I, like, straight up, I thought this was going to be like, they, they, uh, they have their powers, they think it's only like this strong, and then they they keep pushing and then boom, they bust through. This is more just willpower. It's still I mean, I guess it is surpassing your limits, but it's your physical limits like staying awake and kind of saying stuff like that. So oh no. That was that was a good list though. I like top ten anime. They they videos are really good. Go ahead and subscribe to them guys and like like they video. I'm I'm gonna get out of here. Peace.